my name is Randy Chan. I'm a practicing architect. I've um, been in this industry for 11 years. I'm so-called the local boy here and um, I've been in practice since 97. For my practice basically, uh, it's called Zap Collaboratives and I think the whole idea of, of having this uh, firm name is as the word suggested. Um, it's multidisciplinary, it's all about the whole idea of tapping on the creative energy not just from the discipline of architecture but it's also from the various fields from the arts to multimedia and anything that is creative basically. I did work for a firm called Alfred Wong and I had it for two and a half years. At that time there was very little work in the office and for me I think the learning curve wasn't that much and it was also the fact that uh, I was given a chance to in fact to go home early and, and um, it was my foray with the artists, the plastic kinetic worms. Uh, um, there was this organization which I, I have just joined. It was such an involvement that, that I started to think hey uh, maybe I could do something for myself and I think in that spur of moment um, I decided to come up. Yeah. I've gotten a HDB terrace house and um, um, HDB as everyone knows it is, is all high rise and um, in this case what I have is a SIT uh, terrace house whereby I could do a bit of my expression. I have been fortunate to, 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 to have it published and in fact um, uh, that's where it started. I guess it's a result of my formative years with my encounter with the artist. I think one good example is, is I have an exhibition with a, a lighting scenographer from, from France and her name is Natalie Ponsat. I'm quite privileged to work with her in the sense that um, from there in fact it triggered off to, to, to my interest in, in the scenography of, of creating um, scenes and that's where um, up to now you can see that I'm, my work like the National Day, the, the Youth Olympics, uh, does involve uh, me as an architect using architecture eye as much as me as a scenographer. I think they are related somehow. Yeah. Um, one of the things that we did in, in the year 2005 where we, we submitted for entry for the World Exposition for the Singapore Pavilion in Japan. And we in fact changed the whole brief we in fact, we make it more forward-looking and it was architecture and it was a narrative that within the culture of, of, of Singapore that is done architecturally, not in a pure decorative fashion. I think that was a big breakthrough in the sense that, that the presentation of Singapore is no longer confined to a colonial kind of motif here. And uh, that was a good break. In fact, uh, our pavilion was one of the five pavilion that was uh, which was selected by the Emperor of Japan. So I would say that uh, that was my break. I'm still a young architect, so I'm still formulating my, my thoughts, my thinking. But I think one of the, the um, comments uh, which I would say from, from people is that, um, is that the firm does many things. I mean, from, apart from the National Day, apart from doing architecture, I, I get to design a, a pick, you know, and um, product design, and, and uh, many other interesting requests. So, so I, I would say that uh, this style, I mean, if there is one, is that I am in for the collaborative process. And in fact, um, uh, just to take it through, is that the planning of of, as a wish list is that we hope that um, uh, the firm Zap Collaborative can be a, a firm whereby it, it has a variety of, um, of, of work, the work that is not just in architecture. In fact, we want to be known as a, a design house. We also need to be surrounded with the right people, the right environment, because I think that the day-to-day -day, uh, working environment sometimes will wear do wear uh, a person down basically and I think I'm very conscious about it in fact which is why I think in the office environment um, the, the whole idea of housing it within a very quaint art and deco building with a bar with a gallery comes to the picture 
we just need to to be buffered with beautiful things and 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 allow our this creative to be kept alive. Yeah. One thing for sure is is the two keywords collaboration. Collaboration is very much part and parcel of it, and, and it will be in. We'll try to incorporate it in every part of every aspect of the day to day work. The second one is of course um, the idea of of the word design. I mean, um, working in if you're talking about practicing in it. Just locally, I think this is also something that uh, um, the wish list is that we hope that we can we are able to 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 see the world. I mean, to be able to engage the world with not just practicing it in Singapore, but as well as uh, going out to the world to do some jobs outside, whether be it China, be it Indonesia, or even uh, uh, other countries. So um, that's an aspiration, if you were to to put it in that way. Um, and of course, the last one is. Is the whole idea of 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 the environment? I think it is a serious question. Um, at times, I feel guilty about about it in terms of of towards the environment because you know, for design to happen, uh, sometimes you know our medium is paper. By the time that we really get through to get a project going, imagine the the num the the resources that's used in terms of, of to produce a building. So much resources have been wasted, whether from paper to, to wood and, and so on and so forth. And there is this um, aspect which I've, I'm trying to deal with as well. That is that you have to play uh, to be a responsible designer as well. I want to be as versatile and I think um, the future plans here would be about diversity, Ho hopefully that we can get uh, the, that range of, of work. And uh, the other future plan for it is also this portion about um, giving back to the community. It is something that we want to do it out of our heart and out of our, our own pockets. And, um, and we're striving towards that. Yeah. Um, do not expect instant gratification. And I think it's very important that one do not do it alone. It's very important that you have the like-minded people to, to be surrounded with like-minded people and one could actually um, um, so-called tap on each other's strength. I think the journey will be a lonely one, but you need along the way some helping hands and that's very important. Yeah.